Unless you've traveled through Erie International Airport recently, you probably wouldn't have even noticed this empty space behind me is where Delta Airlines used to have their ticketing booth. We're going to hit this ball. We're going to see how far we can really go. So, oh, okay. I'm here with Elijah, the horse I'm on, Fletcher, and Jeanette Paradis. She's an equine specialist. Uh, you've been doing this for a while. We're talking Olympics this morning. Yeah, a lot of these cities and amusement parks have brought back these masking mandates, all because of the Delta variant. I'm going to show you on the CDC's website. This dark orange you see right here is the Delta variant as of a couple of weeks ago, and it's making up 82% of COVID cases here in the United States. Now, whether you're Simone Biles and a professional gymnast or Naomi, Osaka taking a step back from tennis to focus on their mental health. The conversation is opening up. Gardeners may start to notice what looks like stretch marks on their plants, but that's just because of all of the rain causing them to grow a little bit faster. But don't worry, they're still safe to eat. Now, if you're a parent or a, a kid looking at this summer camp thinking, oh, this is so cool. I want to be able to hold a pig this summer. Uh, spots are all pretty much filled up, but registration going into next summer, summer 2022 opens in November. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk to the person in charge of workforce development out of Harrisburg and how she thinks the workforce is changing for college students who have graduated in the pandemic. It's a normal day for Travis Confer. Like any other, he started by feeding his one and a half year old son, Colson, his breakfast. Do it. That's when the most unexpected thing happened. I just hear him start to choke. So I got up and I mean right away, like I just I looked in his mouth and I reached in because I you know, and I pulled out a piece of food. At that point, though, um, he just he went lifeless. Doing everything he could, Travis grabbed Colson, and before they knew it, him and his son were in a helicopter heading to Pittsburgh's Children's Hospital. That's when Courtney and Travis were told the news no parent wants to hear. Uh, uh, with that complete loss of oxygen to his brain, um, it started to cause complete death to the brain cells. Colson's brain didn't receive oxygen for 30 minutes. And after receiving oxygen back in his brain, little Colson was in cardiac arrest for nearly an hour. On July 3rd, his parents were forced to bury their little boy. Now they're making it their mission to keep Colson's memory alive and send the message that this could happen to anyone. Parents that have been reaching out to us that, um, you know, that have, have said, that they, because of Colson's story, they've become more attentive in their own homes, have taken it upon themselves to um, educate themselves and prepare themselves for an incident like this. Colson's parents want to make sure that eventually life-saving devices that help in case of a choking emergency are in places where there are many children. We're trying to make um, airway clearing devices um, a, a necessity in, in, in high traffic areas for children, um, such as, uh, you know, schools, daycares. Um. Courtney was saying that she's trying to make an impact and here on Colson's crew's Facebook page one woman commented after hearing this story that her grandson now sits when he's eating and there's stories like this all over this Facebook page over 4,000 people follow their story and they're just trying to get the word out any way that they can. This is what summer camp sounds like at Miracle Mountain Ranch in Spring Creek. Kids are running around laughing and playing with one another. After this last year where many couldn't come and play with each other, Executive Director Matt Cox says him and his staff have noticed a shift in what kids talk to counselors about. I think we're seeing some things that maybe we haven't seen historically in what some of the kids are processing or working through. I will say this, I think we are seeing kids that are working through more anxiety issues than they have in the past, but it's camp. So we're out and we're active and the kids are having a chance to interact with one another and, um, and you know, and with the counselors as well. So it's, we're, we're excited to host them. At Miracle Mountain Ranch, they offer kids all sorts of activities to keep them busy and help them work through their anxiety issues. Everything from horseback riding to holding animals like cats, chickens, and pigs. To me, it's very popular. Yep. 
For one camp counselor, Caleb Hickson, he's been coming to this camp practically his whole life. Now he's able to help kids work through issues that have been a result of the pandemic. Hickson thinks this place is perfect for helping kids grow. But it's really cool to see the amount of growth that kids can get uh, in a new environment. And uh, For Cox, he's noticed the campers just need somebody to talk to. A lot of it, they need to talk, and they want to be able to share with, this is what I'm talking, this is what I'm working through, these are the things that I'm, that I'm facing, and our counselors do a super job of being a listening ear. Thanks.